Hello everyone. So just now we discussed the theory about the DSCP server. Now we are going to do one basic lab just to understand the concept. So what I will do, we will set up the basic lab. If you see, I will take one switch. This switch I am taking 2960. You can take any model and I can rename this label as a SW1. Okay. And then what I will say, I will take some computer. Maybe we can say two, three or whatever number of computer you need. Or if you need laptop, desktop, whatever you need, you can select here. And after that, you will take the server. This is the server. We are doing this in the packet tracer. No need to worry how we need to configure the DSCP server. I don't know the servers. I did not learn the server window server 2016 or 2018. No need to worry. There will be separate server team in the company. That guy is going to configure the DSCP server, active directory, all the stuff that one. What is your role will be? You are going to configure in router switches firewall. So this one is the basic lab and after that some company will use the router. So we are going to learn how we can configure the DSCP server in router and also if DSCP server is other side of the router and the client is other side of the router, we need to use the helper command. So we are going to learn that one also after some time. Now as I told DSCP server is a server who is responsible to give the IP in the network. So we are getting the IP from the DSCP server. How we are getting means we are getting automatically that is dynamically. So that's one that we are going to cross check with this lab. Okay. Any IP you can assign whatever IP you want to give to your server. Example, I put this IP. I am planning to give this 192.168.1.1 to server. So in the packet tracer, how we can configure DSCP server, just you will click this one. You will have these types of interface. First go to the desktop, click IP config and type here. You need to type the manually for the DSCP server. Any server we are giving the manual means manual means static IP. And here DSCP you will select when you DS, when your DSCP server is ready, your client can select this one and get that IP. Now this is the server, server, router, switches, firewall. We are giving the static IP in the industry. So now I will give the IP. So what IP we plan this one. So static IP we will give. Okay. So here 1.1.1. .1 okay. And here we don't have any gateway now. So this is enough. Just I assign this IP to the server. After that, click the server tab, go here DSCP. And if you see here, DSCP server is off. You need to on click this on here. When you assign the IP automatically DSCP configuration will be there. If you see here, it is saying I am going to start the IP 192.168.1.0. <coughs> and here they are saying this is the subnet mask they are going to give. So this one we can use or if you want to create new, we can create new also. Example, if you want to create new, you can click add or you can uh, use the new existing example. If I want to add the new one, I can say here I can give any name or if you want to just change something so you can click one here. I selected here one and here whatever the IP you want to start example, I want to start IP from 192.168.1.2 example I want to give from 1.2 so I can give like this and subnet mask same and then I will add this one so when I change the name here you can give any name I give here the same name I add only one you can type here ABC anything and add so this will be added here so this is ready and this one we cannot delete because this is a default one but you can modify this one if you don't want to use you can change here whatever you want to change or if you don't want this one you can remove this one the one which we created and you can use the default one when you assign the IP address to the server you will get automatically this IP so if you want to keep you can keep or if you want to modify here in this one also you can modify like example I am saying DSCP server start the IP giving from 192 1.2 and save this one that's all this will be the subnet mass your client is going to get. They are going to give maximum number of user is 254. If you have any TFTP server put here, if you want to give the IP of the WLC controller put here, if you have any DNS put the IP here, so they will send to your computer DNS IP. 
if you have the gateway put here so they will send the gateway also there but currently we are not having anything just what we will see we will say that one now only we are going to assign the ip address we our machine is going to get the ip okay our machine is going to get the ip no need for the gateway no need for anything so this configuration is enough after that how we can test our machine is getting the ip or not we are going to test by going to the machine you can click here you can see this is a desktop click here desktop and click here ip configuration click the dscp so when you click the dscp you are going to get the ip from the dscp server so if you see here dscp request successful you are getting the ip 192.168.1.2 and this is a 255.255.255.0 so you get the ip and the subnet mask so no need to assign anything if you configure the gateway also in this server you are going to get gateway also if you are going to configure the dns also in your server you are going to get the dns also but no need to do anything now this is a basic lab just to understand concept we are doing so you get the ip from the dscp server okay this server give you the ip if you want to get uh, one more pc you can go here and if you want to check the dora process click the here simulation and go here and go to the desktop click the ip config select here so you can see here you have one packet okay dscp packet you have here so this packet what they have you can check here by clicking that one and here if you see you can see outbound what is going outside if you see they are using the udp protocol and here what you have here dscp packet and they are going to request they are going to if you remember we have the dora discover offer request so this packet is going to discover so how you know this is discover because if you see this computer is not having any ip okay they don't have any ip for anything they have only the mac address and they are going to do the broadcast how they are going to do broadcast how we know means if you see here what they are writing 255.255.255.255 or if you see here fff what is the meaning of this one they are sending this as a broadcast if they are sending broadcast you will have all ff here or if you see here you can see 255 destination ip is 255 source ip is nothing because this computer is not having any ip and he don't know the ip address of this server so he will say i will broadcast when you are broadcasting you are going to put 255 255 255 so this one is a discover packet they are going to send the discover packet okay so this discover packet will go to the server you can play this one it is going to the switch first time switch will do the broadcast and also so this is a broadcast packet only so switch anyhow even if you are doing second time also switch will do the broadcast because this is a broadcast packet all the guys will be rejected but server will accept <coughs> and server is going to reply also if you see here what the server is doing actually i think the arp they get first or let's see here yeah this is the arp packet here if you see here you have the arp and they are getting the arp entry so this is a mac address and this is the target mac address because target mac address we don't know this one and target ip they are sending this one source ip is this one if you see this is a source ip and after that if you see you will play here this is a broadcast packet everyone will reject or and let's see here now you can see what packet you have here this is the icmp icmp you have and let's see they get the ip or not here you can open this packet and check here what you have in this one okay the, here you have the dscp packet only this one you can see you have the dscp anyhow later i will show you in the evng so you will have more idea so here what you can say this ip this packet is also going to send on broadcast and who is sending dscp server is sending from here and he don't know the ip because this guy is not having any ip so they are sending the broadcast and if you see here your client address is 192.168.1.3 he is saying you can use this one i am giving you this ip okay so they are offering so it will go here and then this guy will reply i can use this one he will confirm so that will go here again dora do 
dora offer request and then this guy will acknowledge if you see here you have the udp packet only and after that when we see they are going to acknowledge and this machine is going to get that ip okay anyhow i will show you this in the evng so there you will easily understand and now this machine will get the ip if you open if you check here you this machine get the ip 192.168.1.3 okay so with this one what we can say we can say the we done the successful basic lab about the dscp about the dscp server so no need to worry about the dora process if you did not understand here in the packet we are going to do another lab in the evng there i am going to show you the dora process okay so what we are saying again let me show you here if i go here and click here desktop if i click just click here you will get the ip in the background they will have the dora process discover offer request acknowledge if you go on other machine you can click here you will get the ip like this you will get one by one one by one you will get okay <coughs> if you see yeah if you see here you will get again here also again here you will get that one okay so this is the basic lab for the dscp server so what we are going to do we are going to do one more lab we are going to learn how we can configure the dscp server in the router because if the company is very small and they are not having that much uh, users they will configure the dscp server in the router only so we are going to learn that one also in our next class